using tractor beams to suck up all Earth's top hockey players to compete in an intergalactic championship. Are you coming in? It's pouring rain out there. Come on Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, bringing you news you heard four hours ago on the So the part we're trying to make is right here. This is the central axle bushing in our tracks. So what we've got to do is turn this step on here on each end. We're only going to do one end at a time and then part it off. And then we'll go through a whole bunch of bars until we get, let's say about a hundred of these. And then we'll put a stop inside the spindle nose, feed that into the stop and then process the other end. But by the time this job is done, We'll have a uh, half inch 13 coarse thread put in. It will also, if I can find a bearing. So, Billy, I, um, I hope the couch was alright. Yeah, a lot better than the floor. And I should know, because I went down on the floor thinking it had to be a lot better than the couch. Right here. So, yeah, that fits inside the bearing. Like that, and that bearing's inside our idler wheel. That's kind of how our axles go together on the tracks. So we got to set up the cut. Got to stop here to set our Z travel, which will stop probably right around here. Leave about an eighth of an inch or so. So I've got a bit of a distance, uh, about a quarter of an inch offset between the turning tool and the part off tool so that when I when I go in with the turning tool and make this step I can just go straight in with the parting tool and it'll leave me this quarter inch step now we need air we just set our distance we're going to use the drill as a length stop so I just pull the bar through till it stops clamp it process it part it off drill it it'll all make sense in a minute this is a pneumatic tail stock Now this is our cross slide stop. That's what we're gonna use to set our diameter. So we've got our stop in there. Now it is slightly adjustable by moving this nut and the bolt relative to each other. But we've got about a 16th or so of an inch of gap there. So we'll just take that up first by moving the tool. And that gets us in the ballpark. I wanna leave that bushing Want to come out a little bit long so that we have some room to process the other end. It's generally, I go with like a 50-50 blend of hydraulic oil and diesel fuel. But I don't have any diesel fuel with me right at the moment, so we might be able to get a little bit of uh, 
solvent to thin it down right here. So I'll thin the oil a little bit so it'll run through my line. I've got a magnet inside the dish here and another magnet just so the dish doesn't pull over. And then it'll just gravity feed to this line. There, look, I don't know if you can see the oil moving through the line. Once it gets out to here, it'll naturally siphon. There, you can see it dripping pretty steadily here now. We'll just turn it down. And we'll turn on the VFD. And we're in high. I got a pot right here. I can turn it up and down if I want. Zero to tool. Okay, before we go too far, we need to set our diameter, right? To make sure it fits the bearing. And that looks pretty close, but it's a little bit loose. I just put it on zeros rather than the actual diameter, which is uh, somewhere up there. Just because for a quick reference, hitting zeros is easier than it is doing math in your head. And then we'll take another cut. So now our bearing doesn't fit. So we're just a little bit loose there. So two thousands larger, put zeros again. So we're super close, we can't get on there. Let's try again. And this is pretty close. Now we want to basically just stop right on the drill. That's what we're looking for. So, That's exactly what we want. I want that bearing to just click on. What are you doing, asshole? What are you doing? This forklift has an issue in that if I'm not careful, I've got to shut off here on the fuel. This used to be a propane forklift. I took a propane tank and uh, made a fuel tank out of it and converted it to gasoline. But this carburetor I got off eBay is for like a 1950s Jeep. It's the only carburetor I could find that the bolt pattern would match with the manifold. But of course, I don't have a filter on here, so sometimes a little bit of dirt gets stuck in the needle and it'll flood the oil pan. So I'm usually pretty religious with turning that off, but as you can see, I flooded it yesterday. And there's the, the high mark, and there's where the oil level is. So we've actually got like three liters of gasoline in the oil pan. So we're gonna have to change the oil on this. Should be high enough to get the pan underneath. So let's get some light. Come on! Should have left the boards in there. There now, surely that's enough. 
perfect. Just lucky that when it's lifted in the back, it actually tilts the oil pan in the direction that we need. Plug for the oil pan right there, so pull that out and uh, bring the oil. Yuck. Guaranteed there's gasoline in that. Well, not as much as I suspected. So that's where all of our oil is going. We heat here with waste oil. That's why you're going to hear the air compressor run a lot this winter. It uses compressed air to support the flame. See in there, that's motor oil burning right now. And that's actually my two year supply of waste oil right there. Yeah, it's pretty well done, I would say. We're gonna plug back in. There. I think we got a leak in our pan. Oh, that's crappy. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Ah, I forgot why I drove it on boards in the first place because I can't get the jack out otherwise. Right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're making a mess, we're making a mess, we're making a mess. Ah, uh, I didn't plan for that. Pouring it in faster than it can run through the through the head. It's gonna smoke and smell for a while. Crap! 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 Again! That's how you make a mess. Crap! Okay, that's five liters. I think it takes six. Mix it up a little bit just so it'll show on the dipstick. I think we'll have to drive it ahead off these blocks at first. Well, we're uh, over the full mark. Yeah, we're definitely over full, but only by about, I'd say, maybe half a liter. So, we're not gonna worry about it. So next time we'll only put four liters in there. Good enough. 